Hi, everybody. I'm Ross Healy, the chairman of Strategic Analysis Corporation. Welcome back to Friday Focus, our SBA in Action series. I've been introducing you to what I call the technical analysis side of SBA, that structural valuation analysis. And last week, I showed you a ladder of breakpoints between what I call the blue price, that's 0.6 times book, that's, that's the place where stocks go to die, and the growth price. And I observed that there are seven breakpoints in all. And by the way, I said, you may not necessarily have to memorize them, but you're going to know them in time because they are very, very useful, as I think I showed you with two or three examples last week. Well, there's more for you to chew on, as you can see on the screen here, because I'm now going to introduce you to the next tier of breakpoints. Those are the breakpoints between the growth price, which is two times adjusted book value, the super growth price, three and a half times book, and the bubble price, 7.4 times book. Well, when you look at the difference between the growth and the super growth, that's 75%. We can't have nothing to say between the move of that magnitude, and we don't. Indeed, there is a break point there. When we move to the super growth price to the bubble, that's more than 100%. If we didn't have anything to say in between, then what use would SVA be to you? And indeed, there are a couple of very powerful breakpoints. Now, a couple of observations. The first thing is that the super growth price, three and a half times book, is very, very close to what the value line identifies as the beginning of what they call gross stocks, which is four times raw book. Well, we had three and a half times adjusted book. Pretty close. So the value line is on to something pretty interesting. When we get up to the bubble price, I have to tell you that years ago, we had no notion that there was such a place as the bubble price. Okay, we had seen a few stocks, but certainly not the entire market trading up there. Every now and then, some stock would sort of go wild, and then it would collapse back down again. Well, the high-tech market of 1998-9 to 2000-2001 disabused us of the fact that there were no valuations up there because all of a sudden, we had a whole series of stocks that traded up there and with persistence. Well, the reason that we called it the bubble price is because a bubble is what they are. When a stock gets up into that area, yes, it can go and have an awful lot of fun, but you know that sooner or later, it's going to pop and come down. And when it does, you're going to lose an awful lot of money. Well, given how expensive the market is right at the present time, the uh, whole NASDAQ 100 is up in the bubble zone, the entire index there. And the Standard & Poor's itself is trading up at the LSG price. That's the low super growth price of four and a half times book. So the markets are expensive. And as they say, what comes up, got to come down. Well, are you going to be terrified of what's to come then? The slightest. You only need to be afraid of the dark, what you don't know and what you can't see. And with SVA, we shine a powerful light on the market actions. And indeed, as I hope that I'm going to show, we're going to look forward to some spectacular opportunities that are presented. I want to say one last thing about the super growth price. As I said, it's mathematically very powerful. It causes tremendous resistance to stocks trying to get above it, and it also offers tremendous support to stocks falling down to it. And we're going to take a look at an example of that right now. So let me start off with Meta. Meta is a very interesting stock. For years and years and years, Meta bumped along its bubble price and never being able to get out 
powerful, powerful resistance. Well, what happened in this big break in 2001 is that Zuckerberg decided that he was going to invent the metaverse. And he sunk a lot of money into that. And when he did, the earnings just collapsed. And with it, so did the stock. And indeed, the stock fell all the way from its bubble price down to its growth price and offered us a spectacular opportunity to buy that stock very cheaply when Zuckerberg promised he was going to get off his metaverse kick and go back to making money. Our target became the bubble price, and that is exactly what happened. So, yeah, we had a nasty bear market, but my goodness, what an opportunity that was presented subsequent to that time, eh? A Canadian company that is still very much in the super growth zone now is Loblaws. And look at what happened to Loblaws. For years and years and years, kind of bumped along its growth price. Fairly profitable. That's the fair market value, that dotted line there. Fairly profitable, but just kind of bumping along. And then the profitability of the company began to rise and it pulled the stock up. Now, observe what happened when it got to the first break point. It's mid growth price. Eh? Remember, I talked about stocks moving up to a break point and they move and then they fall back and then they gather their forces and break out. Well, that's exactly what happened to Loblaws. It broke out. Then the stock kind of pulled back in. Is that gain for real? Well, yes, the answer was, it certainly was. And the profitability of the company continued to rise and rise and rise. Then stock spent then the next two years banging up against its super growth price. Remember, I said that's a very, very powerful level. It's powerful resistance on the way up and powerful support on the way down. And finally, the stock broke out and has been moving up ever since. Now, it's above its intrinsic value. So that makes the stock quite expensive now. And as they say, what goes up often has to come down. And I suspect the same thing is going to happen. By the way, if I showed you the history of law boys going back for another 20 years, you would see that this is not the first time that this has happened. Had that same move, big explosion, and then the big setback to the growth price. So hopefully you can see here that those breakpoints, the major breakpoints and the minor breakpoints are very, very powerful indeed when you are looking at growth stocks. I hope that you will keep that very much in mind. Handling growth stocks is one of the great pleasures of working with SVA. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm going to be introducing you to what happens up in the bubble zone and what happens way down here in the blue zone next week. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Friday.